Welcome back guys, Darko is here and uh, today's video I want to kind of harken back to the start of my previous video uh, where I, I've really been getting comments and thinking uh, in general about, uh, about something which is really important. The trend that I see happening in fitness, I see it online, uh, the bodybuilding world, whatever you want to call it, I think we can all agree that there is a new wave of so-called internet scientists, right? And I think that you know immediately not who I mean, because there are so many, I don't mean anybody in particular. I see those people in my gym, I see them online. So this is a general statement about online scientists, right? Because we all have Google, we can all go to PubMed and we can all, you know, read the excerpts of, uh, of uh, scientific research, blah, blah, blah. And this is all nice and great. I'm, I'm totally not against that. I read them myself, but in a total package of knowledge, as something that you pass on to others and, and give advice and when asked, uh, this type of thing, what I, what I really see should be really a small part. Uh, what people don't understand is, is that practice actually doing something versus only repeating big complicated words and knowing every single pathway, how the signal goes from your brain to your pituitary and then it breaks down and then the IGF and then the growth hormone goes to your liver and then it transforms it and then mTOR is activated and then your dick grows bigger and so on. This is all nice and well to know, although I'm doubting that even uh, doctors know everything about this. Practice is what actually makes the difference because the funny thing, uh, uh, what I see, the, the, the red line behind all of these people is that they usually look like shit. <laughs> That's the funny thing, right? If you look at the best bodybuilders, they know what works. And at the end of the day, this is what matters, right? If you, if you ask Ronnie Coleman, how does a pathway when you do this and that, he has no idea, but he knows if he does A, then B, C and D will follow. And if he keeps at it, consistency, uh, hard work, you know, certain lifestyle, that certain things will happen. And at the end of the day, we should be doing this for results, right? If, if you are knowing all of the research, great, you can be a professor. But trust me, I've done university and most of those people were nerds. I was the only one, pretty much the only one training. I was the only one who had a body to speak of. Most people were walking around with just a head. They didn't even know that they had a body below the neck, so to speak. Uh, you, can, you can ask them, can you tense your muscles? Like, I don't even have muscles, right? So it's, it's, it's good to know your theory. There's nothing wrong with that. I love reading. I love, you know, getting, getting up on, on new knowledge. But the real test is in the pudding, as the Americans say, right? The real test is trying it out seeing how it works and understanding that knowing something is completely different than actually doing it, right? If you think about the movie Matrix, right? When Neo was getting taught all of these things and eventually really realize it and put it into practice, it's a completely different thing. Morpheus says there's a big difference between knowing the path and walking the path. And a lot of these nerds online who look like absolute nothing, like they haven't picked up a weight in the, in the past 15 years, they know everything. They can tell you everything, right? You should do this and that. And, you know, they are able to make you a Mr. Olympia cycle specifically for you. And then I'm always wondering, well, if their knowledge is so great, how come they usually look like they haven't even been picking up a weight in the last 10 years? How is that? You know, if you are a mathematics teacher, it doesn't matter how you look like, obviously, everything is in, in what you are saying. But if you are talking about fitness, about health, lifestyle, longevity, muscles, then obviously you should give the right example and have all of this, right? I'm looking at myself. I started training with weights when I was 20 and I immediately got results doing half of the things wrong, newbie gains. But I can show you pictures when I was 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, that I'm in shape, right? So it's not only enough to get in shape once and then like, okay, I have 15 pictures, 
I'm going to post all, uh, uh, over and over again, and this is the proof that I can do it. Yeah, but can you do it again? Right? Even for the Mr. Olympia, the best in the world, Mr. Universe, it's one thing if you win it once, but it's a completely different thing if you win it five times. Right? It means something completely different. So in general, I would say, yes, it's good to read, but also pay attention to actually what is really going on. The theory will not tell you how it feels to do a T-bar row for your back, that you feel totally crushed, right? Your lungs and your heart are coming together and your back is exploding and how freaking hard it is. Theory doesn't tell you that. And theory doesn't tell you when you train legs that you are going to be on the verge of passing out. And how do you cope with that, right? It's a little bit like boxing. You can know all about boxing and then Mike Tyson comes in the ring and he says, it's all nice and well until you get punched in the face by Mike Tyson. Jim is a Mike Tyson. It will punch you in the face so hard that you are, you are going to forget all of your knowledge. Right? I have people like this in my gym. Right? They, and I know how, uh, uh, how they always present, present themselves. If you have something which shows results, a body, you are not going to go around preaching to people, look, you are just showing it and that's about it. They know enough. But if you know that your body is shit, you are not able to consistently be fit and healthy and, and vital and, and you know all of that strong, then you are going to go around preaching your knowledge to people, right? You are going to be looking like crap, but you are going to walk into others and say, hey, this is how you should do it. And this is the research. Did you know that if you eat 12 grams of sugar, this exactly happens in your body. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, if you know all of this, how come you're skinny? How come you're fat? How come you have zero muscle? How come, you know, your little sister is stronger than you? How is this all possible, right? And this is the big difference between theory and practice. So always listen, my advice, to people who have practice instead of people who have theory. Right? If you look at the best bodybuilding coaches, they are not professors, they are not clinicians, they are not surgeons, they are none of that, but they know what actually works. They might not be able to explain to you exactly how everything works, right? but that doesn't mean anything. Right? The results are in the pudding. When you are 40 years old, or whatever age, and you look good, you look better than a 25 year old, you know, a guy in the gym or just as good body wise, you can't change the face and the gray hairs. Uh, then you know something, right? I was in the gym and there's a fat guy. He is the biggest technician and theorist you can ever find. He knows everything. He knows every aspect of everything, but he can never get in shape. I told him, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. If you are never in shape and always bulking. And there is another guy who is the opposite. He's never big. You know, he knows everything. And at the same time, he's always sick. He's always deficient. He's always injured. He's always weak and he can't handle anything, but they know everything, right? It's, uh, and this is the wave that I see. Why? Because in real life, you have to show it. Right? I, can't, I can't come up to somebody and say, hey, I know a lot about this. Nobody cares. But if they see you and say, hey, man, your arms are getting bigger, it works. Right? But on the Internet, everybody can pretend to be a, a theorist. They can pretend to be a scientist. Right? I'm learning all of these big words and all of the pathways and all of the, you know, the names of the, the compounds, not just the normal names. No, it's got to be the Latin name because showing you, the viewer, that he knows he or she knows a Latin name. I mean, can you imagine the results you can get with this person? <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. And, uh, and, and for me, it's laughable. That's why I'm always trying to keep things practical, right? I'm going to give you my example. I'm going to give you a couple of my clients examples. And I have had so many transformations with myself that, that I know exactly what works in general. Right? I will never claim I know everything and this is the way of the, of the, the samurai and did my only way. Absolutely not. Right? People are different, genetics are different, all of that. So this is really kind of grinding my gears that I see people and even worse, 
nerds are listening to that, right? Because if, if, if you are weak and tiny and small, and you are not training, you are lazy, you, you are lazy to eat the food, to prepare the food, to do it. It's awesome to listen to somebody like that because first of all, they look like you, right? They, they look totally average, like they never worked out. And second of all, it's like, wait a minute, I'm smart. I know everything he knows now, which means I don't even need to train. I, I can just spew knowledge to others. And, but that's the difference. If you are a math teacher, yeah, you can spew knowledge, you will be respected. But if you look like you've never picked up a weight in your life and you are giving other people knowledge, you are going to get absolutely zero respect from people who are actually doing it day in, day out in the gym, right? Because obviously those people know something. It's like me telling a millionaire or a billionaire, I know how to make money if you invest in this and that, then everything will be great. The guy is looking at me like, dude, but you have no money. And I'm, I'm being a billionaire over here with my 15 boats and yachts. What the hell are you going to tell me? Yeah, but my theory is going to make your practice even better. And he's going to laugh at me. So practice always, by definition, trumps theory. Because theory, uh, 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 yeah, theory is very limiting. Practice is all encompassing. You can know every exercise, but if you are too lazy to do it, if you can't handle the pain, if you have a headache and you are weak, if every three months you have a serious disease that you need to handle, then that's a totally different, then, then all the knowledge in the world ain't gonna be able to help you, right? So that's why most of the time you see people who are actually doing the things, perhaps might not be the smartest, right? But they're getting the best results. And in this life, what matters is not the knowledge that you have, it's nice, it's cool, but it matters, the results are only thing that matter. Right? Yeah, I, I can be the stupidest guy, but if I'm having $15 million on my bank account, it's working, it's working. And I can be the smartest guy, if I'm poor as hell, then something ain't working, right? So, and, and sometimes in life you can't really tell, you know, what it is, but with fitness you can see. Somebody can have all the knowledge if they are fat, useless. Somebody can have all the knowledge if they don't look good, useless, totally useless, right? On the other hand, of course, you have your genetic marvels who can just look at a weight and grow. That doesn't mean that they know everything. So like I said, it's good to know things. It's good to question people. Uh, they should be able to explain you certain things always, but don't go too far with it. Don't take it. The whole point of bodybuilding is not to become a bodybuilding scientist so that you can compare yourself with an Oxford or a Harvard physician and, uh, and an endocrinologist and compare notes. No, that's not the point. The point is to get the results and do it in a, in a healthy way, in a proper way. So for that, you need some knowledge, of course, but the trend that I'm seeing these days is incredible, incredible overemphasis on repeating PubMed research and at the same time, looking like absolute dorks and nerds and, uh, and, and people who have never worked out. We know, we all know them, right? Nobody has ever come up to me and said, well, Darko, you know a lot, but you, you never really shown it. Just go to my Instagram. I have pictures when I was 20, 25, 27, 30, 33, 35. For 20 years, I can show you pictures why I have been in reasonable to good shape especially compared to normal people, I've been in phenomenal shape. I'm not talking about Mr. Universe, right? So I can show you that what I know is actually working. Ask that of those other people. Oh yeah, you know everything. Show me. Oh, this is just one year. Oh, this is just two years. How about 10 years later? Can you repeat it? Have you adapted your practices and your knowledge to 10 years later? Oh, you haven't. You still look like shit. Okay, not going to listen to you. Right? I have a guy in the gym who's 60, is looking great. I'm gonna listen to him. And he can't explain me anything, you know, uh, uh, scientifically how it works. The guy is 60 and he's banging 25 year old girls. He looks amazing. This is what you want. And you don't want somebody who's totally out of shape, looks like never picked up a weight, but they can recite you all of PubMed and all of this, right? So this is, this is what I, uh, uh, what, what I try to do with my channel, simply give you practical, 
medium level, not the highest scientific level, because bodybuilding should not be scientific. It should be a part of it, but it should also not be, okay, just go train and sleep and it will be all right. Uh, there's a happy medium balance of knowing things, explaining things, but not necessarily being able to know all of the Latin names of all of the Psalms who will never give you any results. I, anyway, the point is, uh, is uh, made, I think. Uh, that's my opinion on it. Nothing to do with, uh, with, with, you know, specific. I see those people in my gym. I see them on the street. They come up to me and, and they start lecturing me. And only thing I need to is like, look at you and look at me. Look at your knowledge and look at how you are looking. That's not going well, is it? And then they just droop off and, and walk away. Right? Because I would never try to walk up to somebody and give them my knowledge because I don't presume to know everything. I actually presume that I'm always learning. I think that's a good way, always being developing. But the people who look the shittiest, pay attention to this, the people who look totally like they don't work out will mostly give you a, a most scientific evidence, research. I read something about SARM 1.5, 85, if you take 2.5 milligrams, then your biceps will be 52 centimeters. But never they have shown any result with it. It's always very interesting eh? how, how scientific research never leads them to any significant results. So they're, they're probably missing 90% of the picture. Anyway, that's my little rant for today. The next video will be definitely about something uh, with more content. Uh, I'm looking at it from here. Yeah. This will be more diet focus, how to do it, you know, basic information, good information, something that you can actually use instead of just listening to people who are reciting all of this stuff and, uh, you know, uh, looking like, uh, like uh, weasels themselves usually. <laughs> all right, guys, take care and uh, we'll catch up soon.